Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the storage unit. It is Monday. We have another what's sold from the storage unit. <laughs> yes. And it's from what's sold over the weekend. So Kathy's got all of her labels ready. I do. <laughs> no announcements for the class, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, are we, can we ever announce like if we're going to do more videos soon or not? <laughs> I'm just asking because I don't know the answer and huh. I want to know the um, answer. Soon. <laughs> What does that even mean? It means... <laughs> I don't know. Well, I need to know. <laughs> All right. I did split by sides, although I think my labels are starting on that side other than these boots. <laughs> so okay. we're going to we change Okay, we could change sides. Um, these are some Kamek snow boots from the bins. They're pretty dirty. Um, yeah, I didn't want to clean them, so I listed them and set an offer down to 19 plus shipping. It's kind of like that time of year where like it's more sandal and short season. So if I can move a pair of snow boots, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, so. they do take up quite a bit of space. Yeah. So. And they did sell pretty quick for that price. Like obviously I probably could have got 30 plus if I waited, but yeah, I'll take 19. I'll go in this little corner so you can get them. <laughs> AV. So this, this, this. These. <laughs> uh, this actually took a while to sell. The brand is Free Fly, so I just sold my personal pair of shorts the other day. Those sold fast. This is a Squirt, though, and it's in a size small, so that could be it. I really, <laughs> I feel like size extra small, small, even medium's a little iffy. Takes a while to sell, so yeah. that could be it. But anyways, I got this from the bins a while ago. It's over twenty one seventy one plus ship, so not bad. But my pair of shorts, I think, was an XL, and that sold like in a day or two. Instantly, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I still like that brand. I think it performs well, usually. All right, the BL. Uh, these have been listed, I wrote on here, 2021 is when I bought these. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we were heading to Denver. So for some reason, I remember getting these at the Castle Rock Goodwill. Um, they're a kid size, like a youth. So they were only priced at $6.99, but they are the Converse vintage, like made in the USA. So okay. generally, like if these were an adult size, these would probably be a hundred plus, but I was still able to get 43, 46 plus shipping. So a long time, but that was yeah. worth it, I think. So yeah, definitely look out for Converse made in the USA. Shoot. All right. And it says made in the USA, like on the bottom, on the like right under the all-star. Yeah. Small item that's probably fell under something else. Got it. <laughs> this little guy. Sorry for the noise. Hopefully, you can edit <laughs> some of that out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I got this at the bins a little bit before Christmas, I remember. So, um, I don't think I looked it up when I bought it. It was new and it's Lego branded. I was like, it's probably something, right? Yeah. It's something worth $3.22 <laughs> <for> shipping. So <laughs> that's okay though. Yeah. Like this is the stuff we throw into like average our cost of goods down around yeah. $2 or under. So if I didn't buy this, a pair of boots or a jacket would technically be a lot more. So yeah. to me, it's like, I might be making a buck profit, but. I got everything else for a little cheaper because of it. All right. Uh, BF Crocs. There we go. Uh, Crocs Black Flats. These have been listed a while. I did not write how long, but they sold for $17.36 plus shipping. I bought them for $5. So I haven't just sourced shoes in a while. So anything that I don't say is from the bins is probably at least six months old. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've noticed Crocs flats don't perform that well. I would still buy them at the bins. I would still probably buy them at the regular thrift for $5. But yeah, that took a while. If you could ever find them for that, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day H. I know. That's one of the videos I want to do when we make a video. Just like maybe let's go to the thrift store, yeah. a couple thrift stores for an hour, and then go to the bins for an hour. We can go make fun see. of all their pricing. Yeah, <laughs> and just like see why we haven't done that in a while. And yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'll still find stuff. When I pop in, I usually find one or two items. Yeah. It's just, I can't run my whole business off one or two items. Yeah, it's not usually and worth your time yeah, to find those items. I don't want to spend all the money it costs to, like, there's more items I could buy and probably profit off of. I just don't want to spend $15 a pair. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, these are some Gymshark leggings from the Vans. These sold pretty quick, $19.54 plus shipping. Okay. I know there's something with Gymshark. I don't know if it's Vero or I don't know. So if anyone knows about Gymshark, put it in the comments. I just feel like there's been some. Like eBay's flagging them or something? I don't know if it's eBay or Posh or what, but I don't know if it, maybe it has to do with stock photos, which I don't use stock photos. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little worried that I could get a Vero after the fact on those, but I still listed them. Okay. I just know a lot of people have been saying they're passing on Gymshark. Mm. I just don't know the, the actual reason. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, these are some dance goes. These have also been listed a while, um, probably at least a year. I bought them for $8. They sold for 27 with discount shipping on Posh. I thought those were a nice style. I thought they would sell quick, but they didn't. Very easy. I swear, these always sell fast. Like, it doesn't even matter what yeah. time of year the stitch costumes. Mm -hmm. I've probably sold three just this year, like, all within, like, a month of listing. So, from the bins, that sold for 20 with discount shipping on Posh. I think they've announced a live-action oh, movie. I do feel like I saw that. Yeah. It, yeah. Recently, I don't know if I'm late <laughs> to the game or if it actually happened recently. I still haven't seen the cartoon movie, <laughs> so maybe I'll actually watch. We'll have to find it. Let's go find it at the bins. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not, because nobody ever gets rid of it. I don't know. Uh, these are just a pair of men's Dockers shorts, I think. Uh, from the bins, got 11.06 plus shipping on those. CE... I'm curious how they're going to make that live action. Just right. I feel like anytime you have super, right? yeah, but anytime you have super like cartoony, yeah. you know. I feel like it looks pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the little commercial I saw. I'm super interested. Uh, this is a Columbia PFG. I actually got this at Uptown Cheapskate. I don't have a cost of goods down. I remember they priced this at like $8, but I'm sure it was when I was like trading things. So. Worst case, I have eight dollars into this. Probably have three to five. Yeah. It's over twenty-two plus ship on Mercari, so that means it has been listed at least a few months because it takes me a while to get stuff onto Mercari. So, didn't sell super fast. It did sell fast on Mercari though, so that's the reason I do like to eventually cross post. Some people just have Mercari has safe search. I mean, eBay does. They all do, I guess. But yeah. People are looking for different things in different places. So. Mm -hmm. All right, these are some towels. Just a sandal from the bin, sold for 23 with discount shipping on Posh. Okay, and I think this is my last one over here. It's actually a viewer bundle sale going out to Debbie, so half the items are here and then over there. So okay. I will just pull them all and then we'll talk about them. So we got six items, I believe. Five of them are from the bins. The one that's not from the bins are these sass. Um, their shoes, they have a little breast cancer thing on them. Okay. And then, so those I did pay $10 at a normal thrift. And then everything else from the bins, we got some beezies. Uh, this has got like wine tote. Yeah. Didn't end up gifting that for Christmas, so I listed it. Um, this is like honey love. So this is just like a mesh bag, I assume, either just for washing or maybe just traveling with. Mm -hmm. But if you find this brand in the bras or the shapewear, that is a lot of money. So, okay. Olo Honey Love. Um, and then this is just like a little towel, bath towel. And then this is the brand Skinny Girl, I believe. It's a cute little bodysuit. So, uh, so Debbie bought all these items for seventy-two fifty-nine plus ship. So thank you so much, Debbie. I hope you love Debbie. The thank you so much for all the amazing support. <laughs> we appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Yes. And thanks again for all the support. Yeah. I know you bought a few bundles while we haven't been recording much videos, yeah. and so we didn't get a thank you live, but we always are very appreciative. Yes, yes. All right, and then everything else should be on the side, little coffee break. <laughs> I mean, honestly, all the support really does, it matters to us, especially when we're only been putting out one video a week. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> yes, soon, I more than one. I do notice, <laughs> just so you guys know. Like, yeah. Even if we don't do a video, I always notice your messages. All right, it's cracked. Right, so these have been listed a while. Um, they're Crocs, like the light red. They're just not in good shape. I tried to clean them up and they just weren't. And they had Sharpie to wear. Like I couldn't get it off with any of the products we yeah, use. So I which just, that's what we do. We just yeah. continue. We just cover <laughs> over it. So I'm sure people know why I did that, but that's fine. They still sell usually. Yeah. This this one, well, it's sold, but it's sold for $12. Someone offered on Posh. They've been listed so long that I just accepted, but I paid eight. So I'm making like a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. 
All right, decay. At some point, you just kind of want your money back and to find something better. Uh, these are some Callaway men's golf shorts from the bin, sold for 12 with discount shipping. So not huge, but we yeah. got some profit there. Uh, DX. Another not great. <laughs> There's some good ones in here, I promise, yeah. I actually think I put the good ones at the end. So you gotta stay till then, or you can fast forward, but don't fast forward. Only not then you cool, wouldn't know you're not cool. I sold these Oshkosh overalls for $9 with discount shipping on five. Look, it's um, not all about what you need to buy, it's about what maybe you shouldn't be buying right now too, right? <laughs> well, okay, so like these Oshkosh overalls, I probably, these are from the bins. I would have bought them anyways yeah. to list on Posh probably. I'd pay like a dollar or two for these at regular Goodwills. But I bought these specifically for Once Upon a Child and they did not accept them. I don't know why. They accept almost everything. This is like one thing I would assume they would definitely take, but they didn't. So, mm. And they have been passing on almost any Oshkosh I bring them, which is weird. Mm. So. Maybe they got new know. directions from know, yeah. management or <laughs> like something. Oshkosh, it seems like a good brand that people like for kids' clothes. So anyways, these aren't like the vintage ones that go for a lot. They're just regular yeah. Ones. So nine with discount shipping, I'm making a couple bucks after what I paid for them at the bins. But I moved them quick. I was sending out some 50% offers on Posh. Sometimes I just want like some cash flow and to move something, get a few dollars profit. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, you know, those might have been worth up to 15 if I held out. So I'd rather just move them and get something better. All right, Skechers. These have been listed forever. I did pay $15 for them. They are steel toe, like a nice work shoe. And they look like new, but I did not read how much they sold for. Uh, they must have sold on eBay. Let me try to see that really fast. $30.41 plus shipping. So okay. paid $15, sold for $30.41 after a while. It's probably only about $10 or so dollars profit. Yeah. That is a big pair of shoes to get out of my boxes, though. Yeah. I feel like we had a comment recently, like, oh, your boxes are so empty. Are you going to fill them up soon? But it's funny because, like, I have almost 1,600 items listed right now, which is more than I've had for almost the last year. Yeah. So it's just, I think, When we smaller. moved into this unit, we had 1,200. Right. And then I tried to get to 2,000 last yeah. year. I think the most I ever hit was, like, 1,800. But yeah. then we moved, and I didn't list for a month, and I sold it down to under 15. And it's pretty much stayed there because since then, I've I've continued to list about 100 a week, but it just I sell about 80 to 100 a week. So right. It's just I mean, that's the difference between you were doing pretty much right, just shoes so at the shoes. time. And if you remember, these <laughs> upper shelves were completely... Yeah. Now we're just down to that, so... So I just think it's a lot of like, it's, like yes, smaller yeah. Pieces, the so. size really does matter. Yeah. So to to be able to get you know something like that out, and yeah. you're getting ten bucks for it. Yeah, not to say I wouldn't pick those up again at the bins. I just definitely probably would not pay fifteen dollars for those again. Yeah. And yeah, I'm still, you know, going to the bins regularly. Yeah. I'm still moving a hundred pieces close to that a week. Plus taking stuff to buy, sell, trade, and it's a neat perspective. It's a neat way to like kind of think about it. It does look like we're, we don't have as much. Yeah, but, I thought we, yeah. I mean, we said we could probably fit 2,000 items thinking pairs of shoes at the time we built all this. Yeah. In here, a 10 by 20 storage unit, but now we could probably fit 2,500 if I do this sort of stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, these, uh, which would take me as a single, like, person listing by myself, like, forever to even get that <laughs> many, you know what I mean? Right, Unless right. I have a ton of multi-quantity stuff, so. Anyways, Maurice's sandals from the bins sold for eleven ninety eight plus ship. I believe those sold on Mercari. I have been getting some Mercari sales. Love yeah. that. Yeah. There is a bit of a trade-off there. T t shoes are typically a little bit more profitable. So, you know, you're <laughs> if you really want to get in the nitty-gritty of the profit per, you know, square inch of, <laughs> of storage space or whatever. But, you know, I think I think you yeah. you figure out a way to make it all work, whatever you want to do, do. <laughs> which do. makes it easier for me to not have to try to... Yeah. to math it out so. <laughs> um this is the brand lazy one it's like one of those full like oh pajama, yeah like nightgown but like a like, like a, a hoodie, hoodie but like a yeah. long one like a nightgown so that's from the bins this one i've sold another one for around 30 this one it has some fading and some cracking on the graphic mm -hmm. some dinginess so this one sold for 23 with discount shipping which is still great and it's from the bins i don't know if i said that so pretty yeah. cheap we're gonna have to get us some of those when we get the schoolie yeah. up and running. I know. I regret it. I, the other one sold to a viewer. I believe. I don't remember their name. But, um, I did regret a little bit selling it. <laughs> I was like, that would be a perfect schoolie thing. What are you looking at? What? Stitch. Oh. 
<laughs> he looked at me funny. Uh, is it a he? Uh, you know what? I th- I would assume, but I mean, he's oh, got like that well, girlfriend, that's right? That's true. My, oh, I don't know. We already said that that sold, but then it like they never paid. I need a. I don't know if I ever put it back relisted. That's the problem with like when stuff sells and doesn't get paid for on eBay. Yeah. I just forget to like put it back live. It's sitting on our. Yeah, it's been at our house ever room. since we pulled it from here. Um, this is Old Navy. It's this is their Lux line, which this is just a plain tank top. I actually bought for myself. I just never wore it. But this line by Old Navy seems to like. It only sold for ten with discount shipping, but like it had a lot of. It had eight watchers on eBay, and like some likes on Posh. So and it sold, you know. So people like that line. It's like stretchy material. Yeah. Um, so I'm not saying to like pick it up, but if you find it at the bins, it's probably worth a, a few bucks profit. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I think I bought that for like $5 at a Goodwill, but yeah. All right, HF. Um, love getting cardigans out. Um, this is from the bins, and someone bought it for my fullest price of $29 on Posh, which is awesome. Yeah. Did I say it was Sonoma? So that's like Cole's brand. Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. All right, HM. Oh, this is a fun little sale. I already showed it on my Instagram. I think it came in like Friday evening. Remember the poison yeah. ivy? Poison ivy. So we were kind of just like, we don't really know comps. You know, we thought, we saw one up to $40 and then, but we noticed that one didn't like had a fabric skirt. This one does not. Yeah. And like some vines right. that came with it and stuff. But then there was other poison ivies that sold for like $7. So right. I had no clue. I could not find this exact one listed or sold yeah. at all. Like there was so many different kinds, but I didn't see this one at all. So I just, I think I listed it at 40 just to see what would happen. And, you know, we always have a sale running. And then I think I sent an offer to a watcher. So it sold for twenty nine fifty five plus ship. So either I sent an offer to a watcher or I listed at 35 And that was the price with the, like, 15% discount that we have. So this from the bins cost, like, nothing <laughs> into twenty nine fifty five plus yeah. shipping. So. And it All because you thought long. it was you thought it was Ariel, right? Well, I buy any minifig. <laughs> I, I don't even care if it's a character at the bins, you know. Yeah. I'll eventually either make a lot of them or just almost all minifigs are worth at least like five yep. bucks. So yeah. Why not? That's the stuff that yeah, like like this Lego thing that just kind of makes your everything else cheaper. Yeah. So very happy with that. That's sale. cool. Yeah, that to me that's cooler than like these hundred dollar sales I'm gonna show you at the end. <laughs> because like that's just such a cool thing to find. I don't know why. You don't think it's... I think it's... Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I'm yeah. surprised that's how you feel right now. So. <laughs> All right. So these are some Steve Madden booties. I actually bought these at Uptown Cheapskate. I don't believe I used credit. I just paid the $15.99 price they had them at. They sold for 40 plus ship, so probably about doubled my money on those. Those sold on Mercari. All right, the GI... Some natives from the bins um, sold for 16 with discount shipping on Posh, so someone accepted Posh or VA offer. Shout out Posh or VA. Posh or VA. <laughs> I do feel like I had a lot of Posh Merc sales this weekend, so I did send some offers too, like a little bit higher than the Posh or VA ones. Yeah. But uh, these are a pair of Chico's jeans. The buy sell trade stores didn't didn't take them um but i sold them for 2606 plus ship pretty quickly they're the ones with the floral embroidery on them so i think that added a little character mm-hmm. all right dj remember my little mishap with the all birds on the last video just uh, yes <laughs> yes you had a heart attack <laughs> You had a uh, mental breakdown. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I don't you know. You went through that, all of your emotions. <laughs> I don't know if that came across <laughs> on the camera, but that did happen inside my head. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, no, I just thought this was funny because, yeah, those two sold fast, like, I want to say within a week or so. And then these did too. So, like, people, I've just been seeing a lot of stuff on Instagram and 
don't pick ball birds. They don't sell. Yeah. And it is, they definitely don't sell for what they were. But I've noticed some styles, especially the flats, still do pretty well. So I actually retail arbitrage these from Ross for $16.99 just a few days ago. Like, yeah. And they sold yeah, for $39.01 plus ship. So I'm probably making right around $15 profit, which to me for retail yeah. arbitrage is great. A quick flip for yeah, $15. Yeah, I was actually there just looking for something for myself. And I found three pairs of shoes to sell. So I've already, you know, Scott bought those ones in the last video yeah. and then these sold i think i have one more pair of these listed in a different size and color but yeah i made back the money that i spent which was buying myself a pair of hiking boots which was like 40 ball 40 dollars i've already made that more in profit than the couple of shoes i picked up to sell but yeah all birds do still sell probably yeah. not for what you were expecting yeah you know if you're pricing them at 30 40 bucks in the market says over 20 25 they're not going to sell but you can sell anything if you price it right like that's a good, good mantra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could sell anything if you price it right. It goes along with like the, anything could be a plane <laughs> if you put it, you know, a big enough rocket on it kind of thing. Anything could fly. <laughs> and I know I say anything. It's literally not anything, but I feel like all birds are still an okay thing to buy and flip. Yeah. Um, uh, this actually just sold right before we came. The brand, I don't know the brand. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's. Yeah. it's I bought this like forever ago. I wrote 2021 from this as well. It doesn't have a size on it, so like it's a really nice like Irish wool sweater. I don't know if I didn't notice it didn't have a size, or I was just gonna take a chance, anyways. But I think because it didn't have a size, it finally sold for 11.71 plus shipping. But I bought it for seven, so not great. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to move it. It was taking up a lot of space. It's okay that I'm not making too much profit. Yeah, I pay more attention to that kind of stuff these days. So lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, in general, Irish wool sweaters, if they have say. a brand and like a size, are a really good pickup. And they show, yeah, made in I Ireland kind of thing. Yeah. Um, this is the brand. <laughs> It's a very cool brand <laughs> called Guys, Warren. have you heard? I don't know if you've been in on the uh, secret yet. <laughs> this actually, I listed this yesterday, um, and it sold by the time I woke up this morning. It's just Ralph Lauren denim shirt, <laughs> basic shirt. So I'm glad I, I just, I like selling Ralph Lauren. I was going to take this if I sell trade. They would only give me like 3 or $4 for it. Yeah. But I sold it for thirty four seventy six overnight. So, yeah. Not all Ralph Lauren. I knew that that denim one would do well. Mm -hmm. You know, most Ralph Lauren's at least around 20 though. So still way more than the buy sell trade would give me. Yeah. That doesn't mean I wouldn't sometimes still take it to buy sell trade. Right. You know, I don't really have a roll of thumb or anything. Like whatever feels right. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are the Easy Spirit and they're mules, just like a slip on sneaker from the band. Sold for twenty one seventy one plus ship. These sold probably in a week or so, so not too bad. You know. Not too bad at all. Yeah. It's not like a general brand I would have picked up when I was doing shoes, but when I'm picking from the bins, those are less than a pound. Why not? This is a your sale. Actually going out to Becky. So thank you so much, Becky. She said she misses our videos, our reg <laughs> more regular videos. So Becky, I it is all my fault, <laughs> just in case you haven't noticed. Right. <laughs> all the shade Kathy's been, <laughs> been ca casting on me all day. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> But Becky, I'm actually really glad, really glad that you grabbed the shirt because this also sold within a day, but it's Ranger FR, like a denim shirt. Yeah. So I listed it, went to sleep. Becky was, I believe, watching it because I had one watcher on eBay and that's where she bought it. And then it had like two or three likes on Posh and an offer for 15 on Posh, which, you know, I'm always like, should I accept yeah. it's from the bins? But it's only been listed a day. The comps were showing me 20 to 30. It has all these likes within a day. It's probably going to sell for more, but then again, what if it never does? That's the, all the things I go through my head every time <laughs> I have an offer that I feel like is too low. Yeah. Anyway, so I saw there was a watcher on eBay. I was like, oh, it's probably the same person, which I don't think it was, because I think the person offering a posh was a man. <laughs> but anyways, um, if it was you, Becky, I'm glad you got it on eBay <laughs> for $22 <laughs> plus shipping. So then I was able to cancel the offer on yeah. posh. Well, just delete the item. So, yeah. $22 plus ship. This is from the bins. Sold in less than a day. So, yeah, definitely just look out for FR stuff. It yeah. just sells fast. It does tend to tell, sell you, quick. Becky. Yeah, <laughs> Becky, thank you so much for the support. Yeah. And hopefully back to regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> <laughs> 
guys, it, it really is. I, I, I watched one of our videos that we put up like uh, a couple weeks ago. And I said in that video, oh, we're getting really close. It should yeah. be like maybe like one more week. It's been like five more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I want to say we're getting close, but I don't want to like make any promises, right. obviously, because I feel like I, I break those promises so easy. Um, but we are I'm, I'm talking to property manager. The house is done. I just I'm moving my tools out. It, it's just like, you know, when you're doing something and you're like, oh, I'm almost done. Dang, I forgot. I got to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well now that's done. Okay, I'm almost done. Nope, I gotta do that now. That's the I'm stage I'm in. Going shape, but I'm not like that. Yeah, I'm not mad. You were. I would say it would go faster if Kathy would like, you know. You know, if I help, help. then I wouldn't be making any of these sales, and right. we would have literally no money coming in because we wouldn't be making videos or selling anything. So that's the predicament we're in. Yeah. And thank you so much for supporting us through that. Right. And that that was the thing. Like we also said, maybe I'll make some videos on my own, which I have thought about. You know, there's been many days I'm like, I could do a ship with me. I'm going to the bins all these times. I could try to like do like a vlog but mm -hmm. it takes more time and then my time is not worth like yeah in my time i can sell more items yeah. or i can make a video that then you would still have to edit and upload so like that would take your time so yeah. it's just it wasn't worth it but. oh and, and now it's tax season yeah, so <laughs> so that's uh, on top of it so yeah so these dance goes though for 1846 plus ship another item that's been listed since 2021 so glad to see him go but i paid 10 so not a huge profit Okay. All right. Um, EC. Some Choco from the bins. Sold for twenty six oh six plus ship. These sold pretty quick, less than a week. Let's see why. These did not sell quick. <laughs> they sold the Skechers Delight. Whoa. <laughs> They're top heavy. <laughs> Sold for 1988 plus ship, but I bought them for 10.99. So Ooh, five bucks. Two dollars. Yep. Yeah. Two to five bucks. We're moving on. I'm losing money, but they're personal items. So it's okay. <laughs> these were just my son's bog sandals. Mm. I didn't know bogs made sandals till I got these on Kitter's Ed. <laughs> So I did buy them for 25. He actually didn't wear them because they never fit right. But I sold them for 23, 45 plus ship. So probably losing like five dollars after fees. It's okay. Okay. All right, DK. Just the soft surroundings, just like a denim jacket from the bin. Sold for 20, 85 plus shipping. Nice. That's like the third denim. Denim's in, huh? <laughs> I actually really liked that one. I was going to keep it, but. Denim's always in, I guess. When do I wear a denim jacket? <laughs> <laughs> right. Columbia shirt. Did not sell for a ton, but I'm glad to move it because this was like, I think I just bought this for myself. It's from the bins, but I never wore it. So I listed it. And it sold for $6.23 plus shipping. So I'm making a couple bucks. It did sell global shipping, though, to Canada. Which was funny. Yeah. I didn't see their full total, but you know, six twenty three plus my shipping plus more. Like she's probably in like thirty bucks for that right. one shirt. So, right, EA. We're getting close to the hundred dollar sales. Guys. Oh, There's two of them. <laughs> two. All right, these are just some BOC wedges from the bin, sold for twenty eighty five plus ship. Very nice. Yeah, that's not even including. I mean, I know we did like a little bit of a what sold on the haul video last time, yeah. which wouldn't have been in this video anyway, right? Because right. they had to go out. But those are some good sales. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one came in this morning. Lululemon tank. This has been listed a while, and all of a sudden I got an offer for thirty three dollars, which is great because I'm pretty sure I had it lowered to like fifteen or so on eBay. So, yeah. You know, it's been listed. I feel like since summertime. So $33 from the bins. That's great. Yeah. All right. To DK. Back this way. That's like the third or fourth time in DK. <laughs> That's all right. That's how we do things. I yeah. Our we're getting our steps, you know. <laughs> trying to live that. We're trying to keep up with our New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Getting steps in. I didn't in. get to make any New Year's. Well, I, I could have. I just didn't. <laughs> 
Um, these are some on running shoes. I actually bought these at Play-Doh's. So Play-Doh's had them priced at $30, but I, I would have paid the $30, but I did take a bin this day. They only gave me like $24.96. It was just a few days ago. That's how I remember the details, but they gave me $24.96. I had probably $10 into the items that they gave me 20 something dollars for though. So not a huge profit day. Right. Um, but I bought these and I think two more pairs of shoes. So I would say I have closer to probably $20 into these just okay. because I did use the credit that day instead of taking the cash. Yeah. Anyways, they sold for $103 with discount shipping in like a day or two. So, so worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah. yeah. I've been paying 30. I would have paid the 30. No problem. Also at Play-Doh's, you know, you collect points every time you buy or sell. So yeah, I think I have like $10 off now when I go again. So that always adds up, which is nice. You know, another way to look at the Play-Doh's thing or like the, the buy, sell, trade thing is you probably would not have been in that store if you were not taking a bin to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would have missed that. Yeah. So the bin is almost like mm -hmm. your, your ticket in the door. Yeah. And honestly, lately I've been going a lot to Play-Doh's two to three times a week. Yeah. And like, so I kind of know what shoes are there. So I'm kind of just looking for what's new, which those were. Yeah. And the other shoes I got that day were, so. Because it is, it's, it's pretty hard to source from Play-Doh's and stuff mm -hmm. if you don't have... Yeah. If you're not already over in that part of town, it's, it's just hard to sit. If you're just going to source, it's really hard to get in there, huh? I don't like our location. Of yeah, the yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so. I would not go there just to source, probably. And we have two of them, and I don't like either of them. <laughs> like either of the locations. We're far away from like, both of them. Yeah, yeah, it's just they're hard to get in and out of. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and last sale of the weekend were these Doc Martens boots, also from Play-Doh's. These I bought, though, on a 70% off sale. Can you believe nobody bought these until they got down to, I think they had them priced at 55 so I paid sixteen fifty for them. Yeah. 70% off. And they sold less than a month, probably a week or two, for $113.06 plus shipping. Very like, nice. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Those are really cool ones. Like, yeah. Um, Wingtip almost. So. Yeah. That was awesome. Again, you probably would not have been in there if you weren't <laughs> dropping off a bin or something. <laughs> I've been finding a lot of good stuff at Play-Doh's yet, and so to throw those $100 sales in with all these $20 bin flips is nice. Man, you got a lot of packing to do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you got a lot of video editing. <laughs> I do have a video edit, like, to edit. like videos today, so you could just Maybe. start putting up more Maybe. than one per week this week. <laughs> I don't even, we might even have three videos in the bank. I don't we know. Do. We definitely do. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go. Kathy's clearly uh, mad at me. No. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. He also uh, doesn't help me with shipping unless I, like, beg him to, yeah. like, I help her with the hard stuff, <laughs> the cutting boxes, yeah. putting labels in the printer. I did that today. And that, that was very helpful. <laughs> That's all you get from me. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, like he said, don't help him at the house. Yeah. It's fair. It's even. <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go. It is about lunchtime, so we're going to go have some lunch. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for all the support. Don't forget, we are still doing our lives on Thursdays if you haven't been there. I have I had my hand up to wave for, like, five oh, seconds. Oh, I thought you, you have something to say? <laughs> no, I thought you were like, okay, bye. So I have my hand up to wave. That's a huge outro. Okay. <laughs> she, we just don't want to go home and pack it. That's yeah. the thing. Anyway. Oh, and I have a play date today. Kathy's play date is today. <laughs> Wish her luck. Make sure to ask her on the live, Thursday Night Live. We'll see you guys there. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>